Uh, good evening, short story writers. Tonight we're going to carry on with the Myers-Briggs type indicators panel. They're called not personality types, but type indicators. Um, MBTI for short. The MBTI types. So got types twice there. As a writer, you would need to strike one of those types out. You're not allowed to repeat yourself. We'll come on to the rules of writing. Sorry, the guidelines, the strongly suggested guidelines uh, in, a, in a future video. So now we're going to continue with these types. And what have we got? We got as far yesterday as the advocate. The next one is the mediator. So that would be a counsellor, perhaps. And the question, if you remember, is what inherent conflicts or problems are there in these job types and obviously a mediator thrives their entire life depends on conflict between two opposing sides but there could be a conflict for them supposing there was some circumstance in which they felt themselves a more given to one side than the other, uh, maybe romantically, maybe politically. Uh, they had to mediate between some environmentalists and some well-meaning politicians. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's give politicians uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the benefit of the doubt here. They're well-meaning, these politicians. And so the mediator has to make some difficult choices but they find the, themselves leaning either towards the politicians against the environmentalists or vice versa that would be a story not and you'd have to find some way of it not being easily resolved maybe they have to be an expert the only expert in a particular area so they they are not able to pass this on to somebody else and it has not hilarious results. The architect, well the architect can be an interior designer. I began and never finished a story once about an interior designer who <clears throat> was commissioned to decorate a bar and the bar owner was going away for two weeks while it was done because there was nothing further that could really be done from their end. And they wanted one design, but the interior designer uh, was a bit like some of the interior designers on TV. They wanted to do their own thing and, and put their own personality on because they thought this could be their calling card. And so they went for something which would have given an entirely different atmosphere to the bar or restaurant um, than was intended by the owner. The owner wanted to create a certain type of ambience so people of a certain income bracket and artistic leaning would feel at home there and the designer felt that they had to express themselves, darling, they couldn't be bound by um, constraints and rules, etc., etc., etc. You know, we creative types are like sometimes. Uh, they were they were a little bit precious, let's say. And I got as far as the reveal, and I couldn't think of a suitable ending which didn't end in the death of the artist. Maybe it should have done. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> uh, because the result was definitely not what was ordered. Um, so that'd be one thing. Uh, architect also um, buildings, and they fall foul of environmental concerns, or times change, or there's an earthquake, or some sort of problem. Um, the thinker, well, the thinker, the thinker, the thinker, the philosopher, the person who gets trapped in analysis too much before being able to act and ends up losing everything or saves the day i don't know um what would be the problem for the thinker they run out of things to think about they do solve the the the, the problem of life the universe and everything but nobody will listen to them um the persuader uh, 
had the persuader would be, well, it could be a salesperson, it could be a politician, it could be somebody who is uh, like the horse whisperer, that kind of thing. What would be the big problems for them? Once you know what the job is, the job deals with problems, and those problems can either be the crux of a story or they could be a problem with the problem. The problem itself takes a twist of a personal nature or of a, a professional nature. Uh, five thirty. So I'm going to do one more. We've still got some more on this list, so I can do another part tomorrow. The director. Well, I'm pretty sure that the director could either be like a conductor in an orchestra, director of a play, or it would be CEO, your Richard Branson types, uh, Steve Jobs. Um, uh, those of you who like to write biographies, there have been not one but two, and probably more Steve Jobs type, uh, Steve Jobs movies. Why him, I don't know. <laughs> but um, there are plenty of people who have been uh, leaders of various enterprises. Uh, I'm not just talking about industry, but um, Baden Powell, who uh, was was mocked for trying to improve the lives of uh, working class kids. Um, directors would also include Mother Teresa, Gandhi, anybody who feels very, very strongly and starts a movement, uh, Greta Thornberry or Thornberg, depending on how you pronounce the name. Uh, so, you know, and you can do fictionalized accounts of similar people running into big, big problems because, as Gandhi said, what was it famously, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. There's a story right there. There's a plot outline right there. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you. That's where the meat and bones of the story comes in. And then you win. Okay. And under eight minutes, like, subscribe, all that other stuff. And happy story writing. Good night.